Good evening. I'm weather forecaster Rachel Winalda bringing you our Newslink midday update. Across the state of Indiana, we saw a lot more mild temperatures sitting at 68 in Muncie, 62 in Indianapolis, 57 in Bloomington. That's a big change from the 70 degrees that we've been seeing throughout this week, and that was sparked by a cold front making its way across our country. That, that cold front also brought a chance of severe weather today, the highest chances being in the southeastern United States. But if we take a more zoomed in look, we can see that our viewing area actually is involved in the severe weather threat as well. We have parts of Madison, Delaware, and Randolph counties, as well as all of Henry and Wayne counties being impacted. But what does that really mean for us? Well, we're in a marginal risk, which is the lowest level that the SPC puts out, which means our main threats for tonight will be an isolated severe storm or two, localized flash flooding, and strong winds. Now, if we take a look at the next eight hours, we can see the rainfall totals really start to increase around 4 p.m. That's when our highest chances of rain will start lasting throughout the dinner hour and then tapering off in the early evening, but then starting to increase again for the overnight hours. Now, all of that rain will bring a lower temperature than we're used to, 48 degrees for our low tonight. Winds coming out of the south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. So if you're planning on going out tonight, make sure that you are prepared for showers and thunderstorms, as well as the cooler temperatures. If we take a look at our radar, we can see the storm really starting to build across Indiana making its way up north towards Muncie and that storm is connected to a low pressure system sitting over Missouri right now. Alabama and Georgia have some stronger storms right where we saw the highest threat for severe weather but Indiana is just seeing some scattered showers right now. If we time it out for you on Precision Cast, we can see around 5 p.m. we'll have pockets of heavier rainfall impacting the northern counties and then tapering off throughout the night and then at around 2 p.m. on Saturday, we can see that we'll be sitting over some pretty steady rainfall yet again. So throughout the overnight hours tonight into tomorrow, we'll be seeing rainfall coming in and out throughout the day. So make sure that you are prepared for a rainy day tomorrow. Now, once that rain leaves on Saturday evening, we'll be left with an overcast day. And speaking of Saturday, we'll be seeing our highest temperature, 56 degrees at 8 a.m., which is way different than what we're used to. Temperatures are gonna be declining throughout the day with winds at 15 miles an hour throughout the day. So we'll be seeing some gusty winds and some cooler temperatures along with the rain. So make sure that you are bundled up tomorrow because it's way different than what we experienced this week. But don't worry, we have our first day of spring happening on Sunday. Temperatures will rebound to 62 degrees and then 71 degrees on Monday. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we do have a chance of rain returning to our forecast with temperatures staying in the upper 50s to lower 60s throughout the week. Thank you for tuning into Newslink Indiana. You can follow us on Twitter at NLI Weather for more updates.